Today I'm talking to you about a very serious topic and it relates to the Arvin High School haircut bullying incident. And you know, as somebody who's dedicated most of my life to the you know, salon industry, the beauty industry, to making people look and feel good, this definitely hit home more than you know, a lot of things going on today in, uh, in the news and today's society because after watching the video, and I'm not gonna post a video, I mean, you can look it up uh, and you can see for yourself kind of what was happening. But to watch this, this poor boy get kind of bullied and made fun of and mocked and just, you know, it was just kind of heartbreaking that people used a craft or a skill that's used to make people feel good about themselves to torture this poor individual. And, you know, I just, I, I feel for the whole situation, I feel for the incident, and this should never happen. And unfortunately, when situations like this happen, you end up looking at or seeing who the people are who are doing this, right, to other people. The, the people who are the bullies, the people who have no respect, people who, you know, are, are making these awful acts to others. And unfortunately, they usually look the same, they, they are the same types of people, and you can almost spot them and, and almost say, okay, no wonder, it, it makes sense now, this is, you know, I figured it would be this person, or they look like they would be a bully. And it's really awful that in, you know, today's society this is still happening, and it's never gonna go away, unfortunately. You know, I myself, I was bullied many, many years ago when I was in high school, you know, and I think all of us have gone through this, even today. Just read my comments and my on my videos, the amount of people who say, oh, you're bald, why do you talk about hair? I mean, clearly, now I don't want to come off as like I'm, I'm being a bully, <laughs> but clearly if you can't put two and two together of why my name is The Salon Guy and why I'm talking about hair videos, then I feel bad for you, okay? But I get bullied even to this day. And, I, and at this point, I, I guess for me and the whole, the whole important message about this whole thing, is that you don't you know you really should not care about other people's opinions because you know it's they're not you they don't make up who you are you should actually be happy that you're not that type of person right if if anyone ever lashes out at you tries to bully you make fun of you take something away from you you should just be happy and deflect it with your own internal strength and say you know what i am so happy that I am not that type of person to do stuff like that to somebody else because it really is a very tough situation. And, and even myself, when I was younger in high school and even in grammar school, people would say certain things to me and those things stick with you for your, the rest of your life. There's not a day that goes by where I myself don't think about something that someone said to me and it could be something so dumb or so trivial that like, oh, you know, uh, you ran funny, okay, or I'm just making things up, or you had crazy hair when you were a kid, or, you know, you know, whatever they're saying about you. Like, those things stick with you for the rest of your life. And that's why I try to explain to people when things like this happen, think about how you would feel if the rest of your life you were getting, you, you kept hearing somebody say something about you that just made you feel awful for the rest of your life. How would you feel if that happened to you? Most of the times people are like, oh, I wouldn't want that to happen. Well, guess what? Don't do it to somebody else, okay? Now, there's a part of me that feels like if somebody's picking on you, if somebody's being aggressive with you, just like beat the crap out of them or just do what you can to like defend yourself in a, in a manner that may not be the right thing, okay? So I'm not condoning that you do anything harsh, but at the same time, the best thing to do is to get out of that situation, you know, try to walk away if you can, don't say anything, but however, you should stand up for yourself. And there may be consequences for that. You may stand up to your, for yourself and tell some kid to, you know, oh, be quiet or, you know, piss off or screw you and I don't want, I don't need this and I'll mess you up. Whatever you say to defend yourself, just understand that that could be, you know, there could be a risk to that because they can then take that as a negative as well, and then come do something even worse to you and attempt to like bully you even more or have more friends come and it becomes like a four in one situation. And then you end up in the end, things, you know, it gets worse. But just remember that, you know, you are your own person 
and most of the time you've never done anything wrong to these people and they're just doing this because of their own insecurities, because of their own issues, because of their upbringing, because of the friends they hang around, because they have no common decency for other people, no respect for other people, no respect for themselves, they think they're cool. Uh, and unfortunately, they're just, they're not. They're all the complete opposite. So, you know, my best advice to you at my age, you know, I'm 48 years old, uh, I don't really share my age too much, but you know, I'm 48 years old, I've seen everything, I've been through everything, I've been bullied, I've had people say things to me, even as an adult, that are just rude, disrespectful, and I'm at the point in my life where I'm definitely someone I would say you don't want to mess around with, but I also don't condone any sort of, you know, violent acts or, or anything that's going to really create any harm to somebody, whether it's physical or verbal. Um, and, I, and I just learned to accept if anyone says anything stupid, I don't care. You're not paying my bills. You're not, you know, you don't live my life. You, don't, you haven't gone through what I've gone through. And if you have, that's great. But we're all unique individuals. So in these situations, you know, you have to understand using, using a craft that is made to, you know, all those people who were, who were doing that or the kid shaving that, that poor boy's head, he goes to get a haircut. Imagine if his barber started shaving his head or parts of his hair off and just left him and started making fun of him. Imagine that. Imagine if you, and maybe you have a bullying type of personality, maybe you know that you pick on people. Imagine if you were that individual and you went to your barber or you went to your hairstylist and they started shaving off pieces of your head and making you look a complete fool and then let you out the door and then said, okay, you're done and kicked you out. And then you went to school. And imagine if all those people started taking photos of you and laughing at you and making fun of you. I think you see where I'm going with this. Put yourself in the shoes of that poor person that you're trying to hurt and trying to harm. I think it's a shame that, you know, again, the, what was done to this poor boy that, uh, you know, with the clippers and everything, it just it wasn't cool. So please, you know, let me know in the comments below if you are going through this, because I want, I, if I can, I, can, I want to help you through it. Um, if you're experiencing anything like this at school, you know, in life, if people are being mean to you about your hair, if people are, are just, you know, being disrespectful to you, maybe because you have a, a hair, a hair style that's pretty awesome in my eyes or your eyes, but maybe blue hair is a bit shocking to some people. Or maybe you have a mohawk or a crazy hairstyle that other people think it looks stupid. Well, guess what? Maybe they look stupid to you. What if you said to them, well, you know what? You think I look stupid? I think you look like an idiot. I mean, like, you know what I mean? So if you're going through this, please, you know, let me know in the comments below. Just, just share your feelings, share your thoughts. If you have experiences, share with others how to get through this. Um, and, and I know that in this video, I'm going to get idiots who are going to post, oh, just, they're going to spam me with hair tutorial requests or you're bald. Why are you talking about hair? But honestly, like <laughs> it's, it's almost like I laugh at that stuff at this point. You know what I mean? I really want people to comment on this video. I don't want to see any hair requests about this. I don't want to see like, you know, any negative comments. I just want this to be a really good video to help others to realize that this should not be happening, especially when it comes to you know using a craft to make people look and feel better, to turn it against a poor boy and to make him you know and, and to do what they did, so be strong and please share your comments below, and I'm with you.